Well, good morning and welcome back to Balfour Farm. If you haven't already, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and ring the little bell. You'll get notified every time we post a video, which is kind of random, but we post them when we can. We're out here this morning for a walk in the woods. I have my orange on. High visibility, so you can see me better on YouTube. Deer hunting season is still open. We have our land posted, so there's no hunting here. But, uh... People don't always read signs, so. Uh. All right, so today's video, as you've probably already figured out from the thumbnail and the title, is uh, gonna be all about the forestry mulcher. We got it back in the early spring. We didn't have a whole lot of time to use it all summer long. Uh, it, was, it was really rainy. It's probably one of the rainiest summers in a long time. We got out for a couple hours here and there, and uh, we videoed pretty much every time we went out little clips of video of the forestry mulcher all summer long had planned on putting a video together several times and every time i thought we would just about get somewhere and get some work done with it it would start raining again so oh we'd have to go out and cut hay what we're going to do is put all the video together little clips here and there and uh let you see what we've been up to we're clearing land to make more pasture is the goal. So the goal of our project is to, um, like I said, we're making more pasture, but it's shaded pasture. So it's a silvo pasture, silvo pasture project, which is uh, we're clearing under larger trees, so we'll have shaded pasture for the summer. This was part of a grant project, so we got a grant to uh, do quite a bit of it. Which that's not what this video is about. I think I'll try and do an entire video just on the goals of the project and and what we did there. This video here is more about using the machine. So I'm uh, going to try and show you how it works. So what we're doing here is we're uh, going along and I'm just trying to clean out and mark uh, where we want to go. Um, trying to make it as straight of a line. You're using the forestry mulcher, you're backing in and uh there'll be a rock you know we don't we try and go around the big rocks um even small ones if we see them you know small uh but we try and go around them or if there's a huge stump it will grind up the stump it's just really time consuming so uh as you're backing up you have a tendency to you think you're going in a straight line then you go around a rock and and you try and get back on that same straight line that you were going on and uh yeah, before you know it, it's anything but straight. And you think you're headed this way and you wind up heading that way. So uh, at least with this tape, when we mark it out, oh, bugs are out bad. Uh, at least with this tape, it'll give us a, a better idea of, so we don't wind up on the wrong side of the property when we were, <laughs> uh, yeah, it'll give us a guide. Not necessarily exactly where we're gonna wind up, but uh, we won't wander too far or stray off into the woods. So eventually we'll get most of this done. But uh, for right now, we're just trying to clear a good size perimeter, maybe 25, 30 feet wide so that we can come in with a tractor and uh, put up fence. And uh, yeah, it'll be a lot easier with no trees and brush in the way, so. Well, I was just over, let's see, well, back at my last marker there, uh, cut and brush, and I think I hit, must have been some ground bees, because oh, it still stings. Uh, the uh, I thought I had a, um, there's a bunch of raspberry bushes with thorns out here, so I uh, thought I got entangled up in that, and I looked down, and there was none there. So, uh, yeah, they got me a few times in the leg, but... Uh, it's all right, I'll get even when I come through with the forestry mulcher and grind them all up. We'll stay away from that for a while though, so. Anyway, we'll keep clearing. All right, so I got the uh, mower all hooked up here and um, I don't know if you can see or not. You can, right there, it's, uh, these are all carbide teeth. And uh, some of them. So the company sends you the extra teeth here and uh, Apparently there's two different styles, a flat one and then this like uh, angled has a bevel on it. So uh, 
these are all flat ones that are in here now so i'm gonna put the bevel ones on and uh anyway this one went missing so i just came back from the parts store i had to go get some uh big nuts to put on there to uh anyway i'll get these uh new teeth put on all right we just got out here to uh where we're gonna backed into where we're gonna start mulching so i get those new knives put on and uh our teeth I don't know. Anyway, the cutter pieces. We should be ready to go. Isn't it? I've been at it here for about, uh, oh, just over two hours. Got quite a ways done. Oh, the bugs are out. Yeah, it's looking really good. So uh, super happy with the way it's coming out. Marking the trail along here was definitely a good idea. It's super easy to get lost really quickly. Uh, you'll be backing up and go around a, a tree or a rock or whatever. And uh, next thing you know, like I said, you're pointed in the wrong direction. So. Uh, being able to see where the next tape was as I went through um, was incredibly helpful. So, yeah, it's fun because uh, it makes such a huge difference. I'll show you here. So the plan is we've thinned this out just big enough to put fence up and uh, get a tractor around. And then eventually uh, we'll do the same thing to all of this. So uh, long-term goal is it's 25 acres. So. Uh, but we won't get nearly that done this well, year. Well, I'm back out here. Uh, been out here for a couple hours now, mulching, and uh, it had been going pretty good um, up until it didn't. <laughs> mulching some cedar trees, and uh, one of them shot underneath the tractor and uh, knocked off a hydraulic line. So uh, power steering doesn't work anymore. Can't lift the mulcher up. Yeah. No steering, no brakes. So. Uh, Got to cut this branch out of here, put the line back together, and then put probably five gallons of hydraulic fluid back in it. Of course, it's not an easy spot to get to. So there's the stick. It goes back underneath there. It shot forward. The uh, hydraulic line is there, which is supposed to be hooked up to, yeah, there. Got the stick out of there. Uh, 
Now I'm just gonna go back to the shop, grab five gallons of hydraulic fluid. Uh, gonna need a pry bar or something. That metal line seems like it's bent a little, so uh, gotta bend it back up. And there's a hose clamp that holds it on, so uh, yeah, hopefully it uh, it bends easy enough. Well, it bent, bent once already. I don't know how easy it was, but yeah. So anyway, we'll bend that back. We'll put some hydraulic fluid in it and we should be back in business. It's just about done for the day too. I was going to call it quits in another 20 minutes, but I guess I'm done now. All right. Well, that's all done. Uh, put back together. It uh, wasn't a terrible job. The job itself wasn't terrible. The fact that you're laying in the mud, the mosquitoes were biting me. Overall, it went okay. And uh, put that line back together. Oh, the other annoying thing was the uh, drain for the air conditioner. <laughs> of course, I've been running it all day. Sitting there dripping water on me, right where I had to lay. So, uh, oh well. It's done. Uh, I gotta go get fluid now. I was gonna carry it out, but didn't have enough hands with all the tools. I brought uh, more tools than I thought I needed and uh, still weren't enough. So I had to make, this will be the fourth trip back to the barn. Fortunately, it's not terribly far, but it's far enough, especially coming back with a five gallon bucket of hydraulic fluid. So tell me what you were doing today. Oh, getting dirty. <laughs> I guess. Was there, did they fight back those trees? Yeah. They did. You're a tad bit dirty. They put up a struggle. Quite the path to here. Mm. That's because I had to walk over it about 50 times to go get tools to fix the tractor. <laughs> Not sure how much it shows up on camera, but uh, there was this all in here walk through now there's uh, little bits and pieces I was going kind of quick at it to uh, just chop it up but what it looked like before I started was uh, <clears throat> it was nothing but just like that it's, well you can't even really see but out there it's all uh, let me see if I can it's just thick as can be with uh, dead spruce and fir that have uh, fallen down over the years and uh, you literally couldn't even walk through it and uh, that's what it looked like much improved so uh, yeah really happy with the way it's come out so, uh, this will make great pasture for the cows and steers and heifers maybe so So this is what's left behind uh, after you get done. There's uh, there's some still sticks in there, obviously. There's bits and pieces here and there, but uh, overall, it mulches it right down to nearly nothing. So what this is is uh, this is a hydraulic gate, and it actually closes down. So if you're backing into stuff and you want to tear it down and cut the trees down and brush down you leave the gate up which allows uh, more surface area to cut stuff down so you can back right into a tree and then uh, it's got this bar up here that pushes the brush back away from the tractor so as you back into it it pushes the brush over and um, then cuts it down here once it's all cut down and on the ground uh, it'll suck it in and then chips it up and then as you drive forward if you put this gate down uh, what it does is as you're going forward it kind of mulches everything up and makes it much finer so um, for the rough cut you leave the gate up and then as you go forward you put that down i haven't done the uh i don't know it's kind of like rototilling almost i haven't done that everywhere yet i've only done it on the uh a bit here so uh as you can see, this is what it looks like if you put the gate down. It There's a few sticks left in there, but uh, overall, you could probably 
put seed right into this without doing anything more to it. So, and then uh, there's the bigger sticks, which if you drive forward over that with a gate down, it'll chew it right up. This thing will uh, grind down stumps too. It's probably not recommended, but uh, yeah, it kind of grinds it off flush with the ground. It's a little tough on the tractor, but uh, then of course there's a bunch of rocks here and there. We got to kind of watch out for it. We try not to hit those. So. All right, well, I think that's going to do it for this video. Uh, thanks for watching, and uh, don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to see more of what we're doing here on the farm. And, uh, oh, that sun feels good today. So got to get back to the barn, get my chainsaw and tractor, and uh, come out and get some firewood. So thanks for watching, and we will see you next time.